Now let's shift attention now to something else. It has to do with something trending in Kaduna State. Um, the Southern Kaduna People's Union are demanding the freedom and release of some detained leaders of the union. Well, we do have the spokesman of the Southern Kaduna People's Union tonight uh, joining us on the conversation, Luca Bini, as he joins us live tonight. And to have this conversation, we also made efforts to hear the part of the government, the Kaduna State government. And so we reached out as well to the Kaduna State Commissioner for, uh, Commissioner for Security, Internal Security, uh, Samila Ruman, who of course uh, didn't respond to our chats and calls. But the spokesman for Sukapu joins us live. Uh, Luca, thank you so much. What exactly is the union calling for? Uh, well, um, we are calling for the immediate release of um, some of our members who are natives of Atiyab Chiefdom in Zangon Katav, local government, um, to be released, or they should be uh, taken to court so that they, they get bail, because they were um, tricked into a meeting, literally tricked into a meeting um, with officers, military officers of Operation Safe Heaven, who have their headquarters close to Kapanchan. Um, they were thinking that they were coming um, to hear want to give suggestions to the military on how to um, cope the incessant um, daily and nightly invasion of Atiyab uh, uh, land, which started uh, in July last year, um, just to be rounded up like uh, common criminals and then um, uh, detained by the army and um, mm -hmm. brutalized for some days before they were now transferred to the police. Mm -hmm who did the same thing in Kapanchan and then transferred them to Kaduna. Um, among them is a very elderly uh, person, Elder Wajela, who is 85. In fact, as I said yesterday, he was so ill that he had to be rushed to the hospital. And um, there is tension in, uh, in Atiyabland now, because if anything happens to that highly respectable elder, um, I don't think it's going to be in the interest of um, uh, anybody. So we are saying that... Look, look, look help, us, help us understand, um, ha, has the, 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 the State Police Command put out any statement whatsoever in response to your demands? Or has the police also put out any statements in response to why they were arrested or why they are being detained? No, it will look like... In fact, they are not the only ones that have been kept. There are, there are three others who had been under um, police custody. Um, it will look like they are hiding them, no statement whatsoever, no public statement. Mm. Hello? Well, such a, a sad development there. Uh, maybe you yes. can also confirm for us just, just how long have these leaders uh, uh, of the union been in detention? And of course, um, uh, the question also to ask is um, um, where exactly did this uh, play out? Um, the first batch of our leaders, um, Ayu, Ayuba uh, Bungon, was taken about one month ago. Um, we have just been able to trace his whereabouts in Kaduna here. He was speak from his village of Goragan. We just uh, got to know his whereabouts um, recently in Kaduna here. Then the other batch of 17 uh, leaders were picked on the 31st of March um, and, and taken to the army camp in Kapanchan and later transferred to Kaduna. So they are now with the Kaduna State Police Command, who have not said anything at all about whether they are with them or not. But our lawyers are briefing us about their conditions. And we are asking that they should be released according to the law, or they should be formally charged as the law requires. This is the kind of injustice we have been facing. The people that are carrying out these invasions, which are people who have always identified as the Fulanis, none of their leaders have ever been invited even for common interrogation. But behold, now that accusation of the killings of cows have surfaced. Our leaders, including very infirm ones, who obviously would have never even been able to, you know, walk a kilometer past, were tricked to come into a meeting and arrested. And they have always said, look, they have no hand in this. We even have our that did this thing actually happen? Because these are some of the Trump up uh, charges against leaders of our community, and it's not only their, their people that have right, be, be, Because we are, this, we, are, are, we are pressed for time, uh, Luca, maybe in 60 seconds or less, I'll need you to respond to this question very quickly. Uh, Kaduna State has been uh, subjected to a lot of unrest in very recent times, kidnappings, banditry, violence. What is the state of things 
in the state at the moment. In sixty seconds or less, please. Well, in, 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 in southern part of Kaduna State, um, there's not nothing has changed. The invasions, the killings, especially in Kajuru, and uh, and uh, Brindingwari is getting worse by the day. Right now, as I speak, we have over one hundred communities that have been captured by Fulani hatmen and taken over. The government has not said anything. Have not given any relief materials to the over fifty thousand IDPs that uh, are roaming about. The security all situation right. is not getting any better at all. Mm. Well, look, I would like to thank you so much. Uh, we will have to leave it there because we are absolutely pressed for time. The spokesman of the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Luca Biniat, live for us in Kaduna State. Thank you so much for agreeing to speak with Galaxy TV. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.